Should we wait for God or should we begin to move? Is it better to wait on the Lord or to begin to move on the Lord's behalf? Those who want to wait on the Lord might point to the story of Mary and Martha in Luke chapter 10. Martha was stressed out running around and preparing food for Jesus. Mary was sitting at the feet of Jesus, spending time with him. Martha was upset and asked Jesus to make Mary help her in the kitchen. Instead, Jesus rebuked Martha and complimented Mary. Doesn't Jesus speak more highly of the sitter in the story than the mover? Does God want us to stay still waiting for his presence? Or does God want us to take his power to the world? In the story of Mary and Martha, Martha was rebuked for being too busy to sit at the feet of Jesus. Because of this, some people have taught that it is much better to sit in the presence of Jesus than it is to be busy doing the work of the ministry. This mentality has paralyzed some Christians and prevented them from taking action. It is true that there is a time and a place for soaking in the presence of God. But while we are soaking, we must not forget that Jesus gave us a job to complete here on earth. Often people make spiritual excuses for sitting still. They say, I don't go because I'm waiting for the Lord to reveal his will. Ever since the day of Pentecost, we never again wait for the Lord. The Lord waits for us. One preacher said, until you are filled, don't go. After you are filled, don't stay. I'm not saying we should not pray. Even Jesus went off by himself every day to speak with his Father. However, we should pray as we move instead of using prayer as an excuse for not moving. Oswald Chambers said, See that you do not use the trick of prayer to cover up what you know you ought to do. Our praying, our listening to God, our moving is a continuous process. As we move, we pray, then listen to God, then move again. There is a place for sitting at the feet of Jesus and for being still in his presence. But the purpose for this time is to prepare us for taking action. There are three types of people in the world. Those who make things happen, those who watch things happen, and those who wonder, what just happened? What kind of person do you want to be?